I'm Dr. Ethan Carver, a board-certified urologist and men's health specialist practicing in Austin, Texas. Over many years of clinical work, I've talked to countless men about sexual health, myths, facts, concerns, and curiosities. One of the most common questions I encounter is, what happens if you masturbate every day? Is that healthy or harmful? Today, I'm here to give you the truth, grounded firmly in peer-reviewed medical studies. By the end of this discussion, you'll know what the research says about daily ejaculation, covering everything from cancer risk and hormone levels to mental health and sperm quality. It's time to cut through the myths and base our understanding on science and clinical evidence. If this conversation helps you, hit like, share it with someone curious, and subscribe so you don't miss future videos breaking down men's health topics with real medical insight. I welcome your questions below. I might address them in an upcoming episode. Let's begin. First, let's talk about one of the most widely discussed topics, prostate cancer risk. In 2004, a landmark study by Leitzman and colleagues published in JAMA followed over 29,000 men aged 46 to 81 in the health professionals follow-up study. The researchers measured ejaculation frequency, including masturbation, intercourse, and nocturnal emissions, and tracked prostate cancer incidents over time. Men who ejaculated 21 or more times per month in the past year had a significantly reduced risk of total prostate cancer. Their relative risk was 0.49 compared to men who ejaculated only 4 to 7 times monthly. Similar protective effects were seen across ages 20, 29, and 40, 49. Fast forward to 2016. Another large cohort study published in European Urology reinforced these findings. The researchers followed over 31,000 men for nearly two decades and again found that higher ejaculation frequency, 21 or more times per month, was associated with a lower risk of prostate cancer. Harvard Health echoes this, citing an Australian study of over 2,300 men which found that those averaging 4.6 to 7 ejaculations per week were 36% less likely to develop prostate cancer before age 70 versus men with fewer than 2.3 per week. More recent reviews, like one in the European Urology Journal in 2016 and narrative reviews in PubMed, suggest an inverse relationship between ejaculation frequency and prostate cancer risk, though they note some conflicting findings still exist. So the bottom line here, Daily ejaculation may offer a protective effect against prostate cancer, though it's not definitive causation yet. Many studies point that way. Now, what about testosterone levels? There has long been a myth that frequent masturbation lowers testosterone. Current research, however, debunks this. A review in Very Well Health states that masturbation, no matter the frequency, does not cause sustained drops in testosterone. Any short-lived fluctuations immediately after ejaculation are normal and quickly return to baseline. Next, mental and emotional well-being. Masturbation triggers the release of neurochemicals like dopamine, oxytocin, and prolactin. Health.com published a piece summarizing benefits such as improved sleep, stress relief, and overall well-being linked to ejaculation. These hormones help reduce stress and promote relaxation similar to other forms of self-care. That said, some caution is warranted around psychological aspects. Articles like one on Vinmec note that excessive or compulsive masturbation can, in certain individuals, lead to obsession, distractibility, and neglect of relationships. It's rare, but worth mentioning. Now let's consider sperm health. What happens if you ejaculate daily? A 2015 study found slight temporary reductions in sperm count after two weeks of daily ejaculation. But crucially, counts remained within normal range and motility and morphology weren't negatively affected. On the other hand, unlike sperm count, nocturnal emissions are natural and involuntary. They don't exert any known negative effect on health. They're part of normal physiology. In extremely rare cases, men may experience post-orgasmic illness syndrome, POIS, a condition causing flu-like or cognitive symptoms lasting up to a week after ejaculation. But POIS is very uncommon and affects only a small minority. Another issue to mention, delayed ejaculation. Certain masturbatory patterns, especially using unique hand pressure or fantasy, 
may make it harder to ejaculate with a partner. This is known as idiosyncratic masturbatory behavior, seen in about one in three men with delayed ejaculation. Bringing all this together, let's summarize what real-world science tells us. 1. Prostate cancer. Frequent ejaculation, ideally daily or near daily, may significantly lower risk. 2. Testosterone, not negatively impacted. 3. Mental health and sleep, likely improved due to hormone release. 4. Sperm quality, mild temporary effects but within normal range. 5. Rare conditions, POIs and delayed ejaculation are possible but uncommon. 6. Compulsive behavior, a psychological risk for a very few. Balance and awareness are key. Now, here's how I'd advise men in practical terms. If you're healthy and it's not interfering with daily life, daily masturbation can be part of a healthy routine. Monitor your physical response. If you feel fatigued, desensitized, or emotionally detached, take a brief break. For couples, be mindful of sexual dynamics. Open communication helps if masturbatory habits interfere with intimacy. If you notice persistent symptoms after ejaculation, consult a urologist, especially for rare syndromes like POS. And importantly, always seek medical guidance if you have concerns about prostate health or other symptoms. At this point, if you found this helpful, do me a favor. Hit like, subscribe, and comment what you think or what you've experienced. Even anonymous feedback helps shape future content. In conclusion, the research suggests daily masturbation isn't harmful. In fact, it has potential health benefits like lower prostate cancer risk, better sleep, and mood enhancements. My advice? Listen to your body, stay informed, and use pleasure as part of self-care, not something to feel guilty about. I'm Dr. Ethan Carver, urologist in Austin, Texas. Your health is your power. Use it wisely.